Hello everyone and welcome back to In This Legend of Broken Lords series. Whew, finally had the first expansion going up down there pretty soon. As in next turn. This war with the Art of Mages has really just kind of cut into our whole expanding, growing, you know, whole thing. And... Do I go over here? Do, do I? I don't know, like, I just, I, I'm still behind on my population for the cities I already have. To get another one up, it's just going to lower our approval rating. And what we get for it would be a titanium, which we don't need. We do get an adamantium, though. But we're already going to have a lot of that. Well, enough of it, I think. I don't know. I, I, I don't think we're going to build cellar yet. Rider 2. Yeah, we'll let you go through. Or do we knock down some production on this so we can purchase this extractor? <sighs> Decisions. Decisions. Maybe we'll just do that. We need to leave this in research. I really need those weapons up. So we can get one extractor up in five turns for Adamantian. It would be nice to get one up in five turns for uh, Paladian as well. Paladian. However you pronounce it. So we could get this up with dust in a turn that way we can see because I don't remember I mean I could look it up online but I don't really like doing that um, we can see what element gives what for the armor and, and things like you know glass steel is more initiative based uh, titanium I think is more attack focused all right we'll go with this for right now and in turn it would be nice to also get some of these quicksilver deposits for the luxury bonus here but military I think needs to come first yep winter is here thank you finish the pop-up please there you go and down here we're getting the paladin extractor it may be safer to actually get it down here because the AI has not shown any aggression towards the city though getting the paladin for here still make Probably makes more sense just because our army is here. Like, what if the AI decides to come in through here now? And take that from us? So, we will... Buy that. This turn. We'll let this finish off just through production, I think. Because our alloys aren't going to be complete until after that anyway, so... Wait a minute. Did I already purchase one? Oh. Whoops. Wow. Well, this is what happens when you, you record an episode or two a day and you don't come back to it for a little bit. I totally forgot that we already had one up. So, really, I didn't need to spend that much money on that. That's it's okay, I guess. We'll just have more... Palladium. 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 More pals. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, five turns we get advanced weapons. So really, we need to save all of our dust to upgrade our current military when we can. Gosh, there's minotaurs on the way. Guys, there are Minotaurs on the way. Uh, you just hear them. They're like right here. I think one of these cities is going to be under attack next turn. Darn it. We'll see which one. 
Hopefully it's just a four stack. We should be able to take out the four stacks. Eight soldiers and four militia. And here they come. Okay, so... They are the same stats as they were last time we engaged. And they're attacking our... That army first. That could be okay. What's our setup here? Well, we know that there's going to be military units deploying here. Well, actually, one of our... Oh, you know, that does kind of suck. You don't get four reinforcements like we normally do. Ah, good on you, Minotaurs. Good on you. The thing is... I think we want to set up like this. Because it's going to be probably our heroes either there or there. And then the other place will have a warrior unit. And here we go, we have like our little Dust Bishop defensive box here. Problem is... If our hero does spawn here, he's probably going to be stuck there the entire round taking damage, which is fine, he can do that. I just wish we had more reinforcement spots, so I'm going to have to have this guy move out so we can get more reinforcements. But this is an okay setup. Our Dust Bishop is safe. Yep, of course. Of course you would spawn down there. Of course! Is there a way to select which one of these reinforcement spots they come out of? Yeah, because this one is not threatened by the Minotaurs, but this one is, so I think they're going to be making a run for that. But that's okay. That's okay. It's not the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world. And I feel fine. Alright, so we're going to move you... Let's see. That's as far as they can move up, but why would they want to move up? I think they're going to concentrate here and into these three spots, specifically. Um, which they won't be able to get there this turn. But it's probably going to look like this. Probably. I could be wrong. Um, but I think that's what's going to happen. And we have more reinforcements coming, so we can give a move order like this, and someone else will spawn here next turn. I suppose, like, just in case... They don't attack the uh, dragon, which I'm almost positive they are. We'll give a move order to go up there. Because it'll still be in the uh, Dust Bishop box, if he's right there. But everyone else should be on this whole position, and, except for you. And you. Okay. There goes the attack buff, I think. And they hold position. What? They held position? What are you doing, AI? Is the AI actually... Does it know what I'm doing? Does, is it like, no, 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 this Dust Bishop box is it's not gonna work out for us. Is that what's going on? Um, well, we'll move you up. And we'll move... We'll do it like that and extend this wall, I guess. We keep these other units where they are. Weird. Dude, they really are just holding position. Oh boy. 
I forgot to put you on hold position. No! Oh no. No, that's the one I needed to say that. Oh god. Now they may advance and go after my Dutch Bishop. Oh wait, no they can't. Oh, thank goodness. The scene is... Well, hold on. That takes two to move in there. We'll see what they do here. Oh, I had two more. I thought I only had one more. Oh, the Militia. I forgot about the Militia. Yep, okay. So this guy looks... It's hard to tell with the white on white. Can't move in there. I think our Dust Bishop is safe. For now. So, let's plan as if they're going to stay like this. So we'll do that. We'll do that. That. Let's see, someone's there, someone's there. So you want to try and box them in here so they can't get around to our dust bishop. Um, so they're going to have to go around like that. I guess we'll move this guy over there. Move that guy up. And we'll move this guy down. Oh boy, alright. Shoot. Shoot. It was all ploy. It was all a ploy. Now my Dust Bishop's gonna be moving right here. Shit. Oh, he can actually- Oh no, I didn't think anyone could move there! Son of a bee. Oh, I guess at least the Dust Bishop isn't moving to a more more or less secured area. That's something. God, what a waste of a move. And now... Now this guy is free to come in and they're gonna... Uh, shit. So who's gonna be moving in there? You, since you're going first, probably gonna move in there. And attack him. So we want you to move... Let's see. Who's going first? You. After the dragon guy. Those guys aren't moving for a while. Alright, we'll move you back up there, heal the dust bishop. I'm not sure if they're going to engage the dragon or not. I think they're going to go for the dust bishop. Or this guy may go for the dust bishop. Or the dragon. I don't know. Damn it. Um, he's the last one, so what's probably gonna do is he moves there, attacks them. He moves here, attacks the dragon. He attacks the dust bishop. He comes down here, attacks the dragon from there. Then our dragon will go. Then this guy. We'll want to attack him. This guy will be in range to attack. Not him. 
Probably not him. How much life does this guy have left? 50? Alright, so we'll have you attack him as well. Dust Bishop's gonna maybe even be dead. Militia, sure, we go for him. Oh, wait, no, this is the one that has to go for him. You will have to go for. Um. That one. So you go for this one. Where are you at? This one. Okay. Alright, so you will move up, attack him. This unit will attack him. This unit. I don't think we'll be in a position to attack him, so we'll have you. He should be dead. He may. He's gonna be. here. You could reach him. Okay, so you will go. <laughs> I'm. I'm losing track. I hate that I have to do this. I hate that I have to do this. I really do. You go for him. You go for... Which one's that again? Okay. You go for him. And I think you have to go for him too. Jesus. Yep, alright, so that action happened like I thought it would. This dust is probably gonna. Ah, you ruined. You screwed it up. Why didn't you go for the hero? Dust Bishop's dead. Ugh. Yeah. Where are they? Well, he went into the spot that I thought he'd be in. At least. But I didn't count on the dragon hitting him, I counted on the dragon hitting this guy. So now my actions are kind of messed up. And now he doesn't have anybody to attack, so he's not going to even move up. Uh... God, not having the initiative bonus is just so infuriating. Or the, uh, not being able to go first. Uh, all that planned movement. I mean, it kind of worked out slightly. Son of a bee. But everyone was supposed to be attacking something. Looks like all we're gonna lose is a dust bishop, but that's pretty huge. Because with the dust bishop gone, not being able to heal at all, that means we're gonna have to spend some dust healing these guys. But this army is going to be crushed. Man, AI sitting there waiting for me to break the dust bishop box. That's something I didn't think they would do. Oh, we lost the militia too. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
dust kind of suck. Not gonna lie. I have to make a whole new dust bishop, or I can just bring this guy up, I suppose. Yeah, we can do that. AI is not showing any aggression down here. We'll just um, not go that way. We'll take the safer way. Move up through this province and then up around. Okay. How much dust are we looking at here? That's not too much. Ah! 15% attack on units. Excellent. Move up our bishop. We're going to get that up in a turn. Could we do this? Hmm. Okay. That works for me. Alright, first uh, adamantian extractor up and operational. We already have 20 paladin. And we can sell a lot of this. We're not going to be... Really, glass steel is going to be a resource that we can just constantly sell at this point. I'll keep some of it around for a little bit. Um, titanium, we can sell that off. Look at that dust. Where the hell... That was odd. Um, no, let's buy some more population. Five forty-seven. Yikes. Buy some population here. Um, yeah, I think I said I wanted to get eight in every city, right? Although we do have nine there. Sure, we'll bump it up to nine. Bump it up to nine. That's already at seven. That's pretty good. One more turn until we get Uncommon Alloy. We probably don't need all this research either, do we? Nope. Nope. Alright, cool. Um, instead of trying to get the rider out fast, let's just get some more dust. Well, that's not really that great either. Yeah, sure. So yeah, this Silix is really going to get us just a lot of dust through this game. By selling these resources. Alright, Uncommon Alloys. Oh, the Cultists. Alright. Dead ones who are dead? Not surprised. Okay, I'll start with the Dust Bishop. Edit. You, my friend. Let's see what these do. So, Adamantian. Nice attack, health, defense, and damage. Attack, health, initiative, and damage. Hmm. Yep. I think I'd rather have this. Although, I guess we could also look at the wand. Uh, so instead of hit points, it would give us more initiative. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Exhaustion. Minus 30% defense on target, though. That's 
That's pretty huge. Unsteady. Minus 30% attack on target. That's pretty huge as well. Plus gives us a lot more initiative. But not enough to beat the computer's initiative anyway. So right now that's not a huge um, boon. Hmm. The thing is, the hit points on a Death Bishop, not something I'm really concerned about. Because ideally, they don't get hit at all. But, I mean, at the same time, again, initiative isn't really... I mean, it may make a change, I guess. When we get the armor, too. The other thing is that the exhaustion lowers their defense, and our units have a low attack to begin with. So that could really help out on our units dealing damage. I also need to get some accessories here. Soon. We'll go with this. Alright. The Glass Knight... My little friend. Both provide infantry slayer. So one splits the defense between initiative and defense. Okay, what about the shield? 15% attack. 15% life. Hmm. And for cool factor, I think this sword even looks better. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Ooh, yeah, that looks... That looks nice. <laughs> um, whoops. Oh, that shield should be much bigger. But for stats, um, 14 defense, 15 life. And this gives us a 15% attack, 14 defense. Which, again, the attack has been a issue. So... I think we go with that. For right now. The Stalwart is going to be the two-hander. Infantry Slayer 4, you don't say. 83 attack, 14 defense, 40 attack. Or damage, sorry. And cool factor, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hmm. We also don't have a lot of adamantium. We do have more map, more paladin than. Hmm. 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 I guess we go with this one. Also, your armor sucks. But we'll keep it like that right now. Alright, will we? Well, we're gonna have the armor upgrades here soon, anyway. Okay, Rider. Let's upgrade your spear. I think we're gonna want the initiative spear here. Wait, did the initiative just drop? It did! The tier 2 actually has more initiative than this does. Huh. Huh. But, I mean, everything else is lower. Hmm. I wonder if the initiative boost that we would get from the dragon guy would still be higher than the minotaurs. 
I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so that does... That, that's that. So this rider we're going to have to upgrade these uh, glass knights. We can only retrofit one right now. We're going to need another dust bishop. Oh, I forgot to move our guy. There you are. This war's gone on long enough, wouldn't you agree? I would agree. Do you want a truce? <laughs> Alright, you're the one telling me that this war's gone on long enough. She's a liar. Maybe she's just flustered that she hasn't killed me yet. So like, can't you just surrender and die, human player? I'm like, no. I can't. I'm sorry. Alright, let's go sell off some more resources. Oh! What? Mm. Oh, that's... Mm. It's okay. Fine. Okay, I can't retrofit you yet. And it sounds like we have another Minotaur army coming in, but we do have some upgraded weapons this time. thinking maybe I just I, I guess I should end this video here uh, so thanks for watching everybody it's a good chance that we're gonna get into a fight with some minotaurs here in the, in the beginning of the next episode so I will see you then take care